feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Hey fams, good morning, how you doing? Happy Tuesday, it is June 11th and we are home in the new house so today we took the day off because Michael has, well Mikey, my son, he has like a, um, a field trip that he had to go on and it's from 5.45 in the morning to 6 o'clock at night. So <laughs> we um, knew about the trip I want to say since February and so we just took a personal day which we normally don't take a lot of days off. But we just decided to just take that day as just a personal day. So my husband actually chaperones the trip. So he and Mikey got up like 4.30 this morning because they had to be at the school by 5.45. And you know, it's 45 minutes away from our house. So um, they went and they did that. And they're on the trip now. So Michael just texted me. He told me everything is going well. They're having a good time. So I am just here with my girls. They didn't go to school today. Um, they stay home today. This is their last week of school anyway, but not saying that it's because I took them out of school because it's their last week. I just, you know, I said, hey, Michael's going to spend the day with Mikey. I want to spend the day with my girls. You know, sometimes you got to take a personal day and just take some time um, with your kids because they're in school most of the time. And, and I love being around my kids. I, I don't know if every parent is like that, but... I absolutely love the company of my children and I love my girls, I love my son and so I just wanted to take this time to just spend the day with them today. We're having a good time, we just had breakfast, um, we made pancakes and sausages together, turkey sausages and we're just having a good time and we're hanging out and they're actually coming to deliver my refrigerator today so I'll show you that when it gets here. They're coming between 12 and 2 o'clock so I'll show you that when it gets here. And also, I did some updates, you guys. So, we're still unpacking some boxes and everything. Um, I still have tons of boxes laying around. But, majority of the stuff we've unpacked. And I actually got my eating nook, my kitchen nook, done. So, I'm going to show that to you. I'm just here making some tea. Mommy. And cleaning up the kitchen. Mommy. Yeah, Mommy cleaned up the help. kitchen. Guys, I am so happy to have this much counter space. Like, I have never had this much counter space. And it just feels so good. Let me turn this light on. Because I don't know if you guys can... I don't want it to be too dark. But I've never had this much counter space or this many cabinets. And I'm just, like, so happy about it. Because I feel like I could just utilize, you know, every single area in the house. So... I'm so happy about it. And the more that I'm using the stove, you guys, is the more that I'm loving it. It is super easy to clean. So I think I'm really going to hold on to this stove. The front left burner doesn't work, but everything else works. So I think I am going to hold on to this stove for a little longer because I'm actually falling in love with it. So, But I just wanted to show you just an update of what we've done. Um, I actually did this on Sunday. And I did vlog... I did vlog um, a video for you guys, but the quality was so terrible that I was just like, I am not putting that up. So I went ahead and I got my eating kitchen um, nook area <laughs> ready. We got the table set up, the rug. I have to clean it because it's still a little bit, you know, dirty, discolored. But I have to clean it. But it looks so good in here. I feel like it looks so good. So in that little corner right there, I have, you guys remember that? I got that from the Salvation Army. I don't remember how much I got it for. I think I got it for $4.99 or $2.99. Um, but that's where I have all, well, what I have for now, my scented oils. <laughs> I have three of them. Um, I'm turning over a new leaf. <laughs> uh, but I have that there. And then I was actually going to go to... Um, on Amazon and I was going to get like these bookshelves that had the wood and the galvanized metal I guess that's what you call it maybe not galvanized but you know the metal it's like the farmhouse bookshelves so I was gonna get like three of them and put them you know on this wall 
But then I was just like, you know what? I already have my china cabinet. I was going to put that in Michaela's room. But when my best friend was here on Saturday, she said, you know, it's probably going to make her room crowded. And it actually wasn't going to make it crowded. But I think that her desk being in her room along with this would have made it crowded. So her desk is going to be picked up today and um, her desk is going to her room. So I just decided to just use my china cabinet in the eating kitchen nook and it's, it's working. It's looking great, but I'm not going to keep it white. I'm actually going to paint it like a darker charcoal gray color. Um, it almost looks like it's black, but it's like charcoal gray. So I'm going to paint it that color because the white tends to get dirty very easily. And you probably can't see it from here, but it's very dirty. So I'm going to repaint that today. And um, yeah, so but this is all that's going to be up there. I might kind of finagle with the top part, just kind of, you know, change it around a little bit. But this is what it's going to be um, for now. I still have a few decor pieces that I want to get in here. Um, I'm still going to replace this blind with the cordless blind and um, some drapes on that section. I still want to do like a nice little centerpiece there. Um, I'm also going to be doing the cordless blinds on this window and um, some drapes, just some white linen drapes um, on that. We're still going to get these this light fixture taken out. Over here on this wall, I want to put a um, gallery wall, a family gallery wall. So it, it should look pretty good. I don't want it to look crowded, but I saw this um, Pinterest post. It's like such an inspirational post to me um, of the gallery wall in the eating kitchen area. And it absolutely looks so stunning. Sorry for the blurriness, you guys. I so need to get a new camera. But... Um, on this wall, I'm going to do the gallery wall, and then we're going to be updating the floors this weekend, so these floors are not going to be there. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on what it is, and then once it's all completely done, then I'm going to give you guys a full tour of the eating kitchen area. So I'm planning on giving you guys like individual tours um, as I'm done with each room. And then later down, I'll give you like a full on finished, furnished, finished house tour, if that makes sense. So once I'm done with each room, I'll just give you guys like an update as to what's done and what else we're going to be doing to the room. And then after that, I'm going to do a fully furnished home tour for you guys. So that'll probably be either in the fall or... I don't know, maybe Christmas, <laughs> you guys will probably get a full furnished house tour because I am planning on seriously taking my time decorating and furnishing my home and everything. I'm not trying to do everything all at once because everything takes money and uh, yeah, we just made a big purchase so I'm not trying to be spending all this money right away. You know, I, I gotta, gotta be smart, got my kids you know got things that we're planning for so we're just taking it step by step day by day taking it very slowly renovating and furnishing the house we do have like our main pieces which i am going to show you um this is my dining room this is what it looks like right now but i'm hoping that i can get knock all the stuff out today uh this is here for now it's not gonna stay probably not um, I do have a hutch, not a hutch, a, a buffet that's coming with my dining table. And this mirror is going to stay in here. But I think I'm going to take the buffet and put it over here. And then take, take this mirror and put it over the buffet. And then do like a china cabinet here um, of some sort. So as you can see, the boxes are back in the hallway because <laughs> they just keep coming and keep piling up. And I want to show you guys the living room, but Nyla is butt naked. Oh my gosh, and I have no curtains up, so give me a minute. Let me put some clothes on her. Okay, guys, so this, I, I okay, guys, so I just changed Nyla. <laughs> and this is what the living room is still kind of looking like. Um, I got to get some drapes up and everything. 
but it's a lot more open. We got a lot of the boxes out. That's the table I was telling you guys about. At least I think I did. You know, I told you in the last vlog, but I didn't put it up because it um, the quality was not the best. So, let me take you guys upstairs okay. and show you what we've done so far. You can see that Nyla's already made her mark. She came up in here this morning while we were sleeping. And she so badly wants to get into her room, but her mattress is actually coming on Saturday. So we just got her, her headboard in here, her bed frame, her clothes. She threw it all over the place. We still got to fix her closet. We got Mikey's bedroom set. So this was our old bedroom set. She doesn't have her TV yet, so she's watching her brother's TV. So he's got our old bedroom set. And our bedroom set is coming on Saturday. So everything is just still kind of all over the place. The closet is still not done. The floors are still not done. So we still got some work, some work to do. And then this is Kayla Beasy's room. It is under construction. <laughs> Her floors are still not done. We're going to be getting that done this weekend. And her dresser, her bedroom set. So this belong this was my bed in my side table. I know for you guys remember in my old bedroom, this the lamp and this mirror also on the other side. So she wanted her bedroom to be like glam. So we just went ahead and gave her all of our old stuff as well. And she has her full length mirror that's going to be on her wall. And then her desk is going to be here. And her TV is going to be mounted here with all of her wall art decorations and everything. And then that's her chair. So because the way the color of her bedroom set is, I just decided to just keep the chair this color and I am going to just clean it. But we're going to get her a new rug and everything and drapes and blinds. That's going to be it. So our bedroom, nothing has happened to it yet. I don't know why the parents' bedrooms are always the last, but it's still the same. <laughs> Nothing has changed in here yet. Um, we just started bringing up some boxes and stuff. So everything is still pretty much the same. This bathroom is still pretty much the same. I haven't even touched this bathroom yet. I haven't cleaned it yet. My plan is to clean it out today so that the kids can take their baths because they're so used to taking their baths. Um, so that is the plan today, and I'm so sorry, you guys, that this thing is blurry. But that is the plan of attack today. So, it's a little bit gloomy today because it's, it's like raining and it's really, really windy out. I don't know if you guys can see the trees. It's like really, really windy out. So we're kind of just cleaning and, and getting, trying to get rid of these boxes and trying to get my house in order, y'all, because this clutter is like driving me insane. Y'all know I don't like clutter. I don't like chaos. And I don't like my house just looking any old kind of way. So it's, it's like really getting to me. So I am going to knock this out and... Hopefully I can make a dent, I can make some progress today, and uh, get it going. And I know you guys are probably tired of seeing me in my pink hat. Don't worry, I'm going to get rid of it, I'm going to get my hair done, but I just, I need to be, I'm like in work mode right now. I need to, to really just get this place done. So I got my hat on, and you know, it's like Shay, Shay Carl, he's got his socks on. Yeah, I got my socks on. I got my hat on, y'all. 
<laughs> and I'm in work mode and I'm ready to do some work and do some damage in here. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and comment. Y'all know I love, 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 love to talk to y'all. And make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Make sure you also press that bell for new video not notifications. Um, we have not yet received our internet Wi-Fi services. So uploads are kind of weird. Um, the only time I can really upload is when I'm at work. And that's very, like hard because I have daycare so during my daycare time I normally uh, nap time I normally do paperwork office work for the daycare but I'm going to definitely try to get this video up for you guys um, for tomorrow and yeah so make sure you guys subscribe sorry now I just hit my arm make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell so you can get all the new notifications and I know some of you have been saying that my videos have not been showing up in your notifications feed so make sure you hit that bell and once when you hit that bell hit the um i think it says all like for all videos hit that one the top one it says all notifications hit that one so that you can receive all the notifications of whenever i upload a video um i want you guys to definitely stay in tune with all the videos that's coming i don't want you to miss an episode so if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and thank you so much for subscribing consider subscribing consider subscribing to my channel and um, make sure you give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and comment because i love to talk to you guys you guys are like my extended family and I love y'all so, so much. So thank you guys so much for all your love, your encouragement, all the wonderful comments and things that you guys have said about my home. It means so much to me. Y'all know that a house is not a home until a woman make it a house, a home, right? So um, thank you guys so much for all the wonderful wishes and blessings and prayers and love and comments. I am so elated. We read them and we just, we just love them so much and love you guys so much. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm